Chapter 2 Atomic Structure As for this chapter, the targets are identify and describe protons, neutrons, and electrons in terms of the relative charges and relative masses, deduct the behavior of beams of protons, neutrons, and electrons in an electric field, describe the distribution of mass and charges within an atom, deduct the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons present in both atoms and ions given proton and nucleon numbers and charges. Describe the contribution of protons and neutrons to atomic nuclei in terms of proton number and nucleon number. Distinguish between isotopes on the basis of different numbers of neutrons present. Recognize and use the symbolism of A with a higher X and a lower Y for isotopes, where X is the nucleon number and Y is the proton number. Protons, neutrons, and electrons. Everything is made up of substances which are made up of elements. The smallest particle of an element is the atom. Scientists discovered that the atom itself is made up of small particles like protons, neutrons, and electrons. The electron has a relative mass of 1 over 1836 and a relative charge of negative 1. The neutrons has got a relative mass of 1 and a relative charge of 0. Protons has got a relative mass of 1 and a relative charge of positive 1. The mass of proton is 1836 times the mass of an electron. But how did the scientists discover those features of electrons, protons and neutrons? Well, they simply fired beams of each particle in an electric field. Electrons were deflected toward the positive electrode indicating that electrons carry negative charge because like charges repel and unlike charges attract. Neutrons didn't deflect indicating that neutrons are neutral and protons got deflected toward the negative electrode indicating that the protons are positively charged. You may have noticed that the electrons are deflected more than the protons this is because the protons are heavier and require more force to be deflected to the same angle as that of the electrons. Using Rutherford's experiment, it was deducted that the mass of an atom is concentrated in its center. Because protons and neutrons are heavier than electrons, it was also deducted that the protons and neutrons are located in the center of the atoms. The nucleon number or atomic mass of an atom is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons in the nucleus. The atomic number or proton number of an atom is the number of protons in the nucleus. Elements can be represented as A with a higher X and a lower Y, where A is the element symbol, X is the nucleon number and Y is the atomic number. For example, the element nitrogen can be represented as n with a higher 14 and a lower 7. From this we can have the information, we get the information that the element is nitrogen, the nuclear number is 14 and the atomic number is 7. If you got confused, simply keep in mind that the bigger number is the nuclear number except for hydrogen. So if we were given the atomic number and nucleon number of nitrogen and were asked to find the number of protons and uh, neutrons and electrons, the number of protons would be 7 from the atomic number, the number of neutrons would be the number of nucleons minus the number of protons, that is 14 minus 17 giving 7, the number of electrons would be equal to the number of protons in neutral atoms, not in ions. And finally, isotopes. Isotopes are substances of the same element but have a different number of neutrons. This means that isotopes have the same number of protons but different number of neutrons. One important example of isotopes is hydrogen. Hydrogen could exist as protium, deuterium, and tritium. If you like the content, press the thumbs up button. If you have any questions, inquiries, or suggestions, send me an email. My email is in the description down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, also don't forget to study and that education is light.